Oh, hey, I, uh, didn't see you there. Hello, everybody. My name's Amified, and welcome to the first episode of our new horror series. That's right, guys. We used to play Outlast. We, uh, did most of the game until everything died and I wasn't able to record anymore. Um, I did end up finishing that game, but I will go back to Outlast eventually. Mark my words. But right now... We are playing Sherlock Holmes. I think this is a horror game. If not, this is going to be real embarrassing. But um, I'm excited. I got this game just the other day. And uh, this is the first time I've loaded up, so I don't even know what, what to expect. <laughs> Loud. That's what I'm expecting. Jeez. Okay. Features autosave. Okay, that's typical. Okay, I need to turn down the audio because that was that just blew my eardrums out. Alright guys, we've loaded it up. It's a little longer than anticipated, honestly. But, ooh, we have a nice little welcome zombified up in the corner right there. Um, Alright, yeah, let's just start right up. New game. Uh, keen detective. Take on the dynamic life of the famous detective. You can always switch the current level of difficulty in your game. That's just a forbidden test of your... Nope. <laughs> we are not a... We are not a master... Mas a master sleuth. Pray tell, you can find gameplay or interface instructions by pressing both sticks simultaneously. Some evidence requires additional investigation. It will be marked with special tool tips. Oh my. In your casebook. That's there's already way too much information. Um the game looks nice though, I gotta say. I'm very concerned. You can always open your casebook to check your current progression. Okay, so it looks like the casebook is like our player menu per se, but I could be wrong. Because tasks, evidence, etc. Now let's change the current difficulty level. Okay, we already know that. There's just some pants hanging up in the sky right there. <laughs> I mean, it's not usually where I keep my pants, but if I did, that that would be where I put them. All right, so yeah, this is gonna be a little let's play series. There will be multiple parts to this. I'm not doing this in one sitting. Um, so we'll get to a good stopping point. Okay. Okay, so I spent the whole time loading, and then, okay, there we go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> the graphics have gone down a little bit. Still not that bad, honestly. Uh, I'm really concerned. The motion blur is... Oh, my. But, like, who is this guy? Why, <laughs> why are you running? But... I, f I feel like that was an unnecessary jump. Is he running from birds? Dude, there's nobody there. Not a single person there. Why is his ear, like, bloody? That's horrifying! What in the world? Oh no. First person shoot. Oh, we got bullet time too. All right, solve the case, it was him. He died. 48 hours earlier. Oh wow, okay, so we're going back in time. Maybe we're the ones that killed him. Bam, I'm the best Sherlock Holmes ever. I don't know when this game was made. Let me do a quick, let me do a quick little search. Is that the same guy? Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in. That man has great style. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Okay, let's see. I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Uh, she 2016. Not concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Uh, that child standing sniffing behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. I did not hear that man. That heard of the kid. His name's Tom. I saw it under the necklace. Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. He's such a diva. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Booby? Well, I hope Ooh, get some. 
No, I'm joking. He's just being nice. I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. He's starting to Yeah, no, I would be worried. Mr. Holmes is relaxed. <laughs> His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. Okay, so that's Holmes on the um on the couch. Maybe this is Watson then. Medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I am. All right, tell the media. But there is a cure, but only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Ah, the violin. I know a little bit about Sherlock Holmes. I am still. But I know that he can master everything but the violin. The animation is uh, interesting, to say the least. Thank you. But I guess it, it, it was like 2016, so it's not awful. What? Why are you here? Build a character. What? Okay, so... Build a character, portrait by... Okay, well... Red eyes, conjunctiveness, recent... Recent wiping. I'm so confused at what I'm doing. Right bumper. Okay, what about chin? Pale skin, malnutrition. Oh, I don't even get a choice. What, why does it put me over here if I can't do anything? I do not understand what is happening right now. He has a patch. He's poor. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, so maybe this is how Sherlock Holmes like randomly finds information. So maybe this is what we're doing, is that we're... Uh, we're in, like inspecting him and being all like. It's interesting though that I I get to like pick on some of them. A lame arm, malformation. In let's say injured. This man has been going through. Maybe that's why he was weeping. Okay. Oh, he has a ticket. Oh, a map. Can read? <laughs> when was this that you had to make sure they could read? Oh, okay. And so on the right over here, that just gives us everything. Okay. Validate. Imprecise character. Oh. Tom is eight years old. His clothes are well worn and have multiple patches neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well being. His pale skin indicates that he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and has red eyes. He. Wait, how do I. Ah. He has been weeping very recently. Imprecise. I'm. Shut up. Alright, yeah, so imprecise is uh, not being. So I wasn't. I wasn't right, which is interesting. But there is a lot will be met in current case. So I wonder if I have to do the girl. Echoes, dialogue. Oh, okay, so this is what we just went through. Oh my. I wonder if there was clues that I had to pay attention to. There probably was. Evidence, a map. Task, when a young boy sobbing tells his father just pension. Okay. Oh, I was gonna see if I could do it again, but oh well. It's, it's my father, sir. He's missing. I, I don't know what to do. Oh wait, can I do it again? I can. Okay, so I'm gonna say that. Okay, so I'm gonna. Th I think that his. Oh my, this takes forever. Can breed, so. I'm going to say that this, oh, I can't, oh, I can't, I can't fix it. Okay, so his name missing, what happened? Yeah, let's go for the name. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Okay. Missing, 
missing, eh? And what do the police say? Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, what? Choose to have a sacrifice statement or in of a character in order to continue the... Oh, I didn't know that there was going to be, like, the quick tap thing. Tom's birth year is 1887. Jesus is old. So at his young age, he already knows how to read and use a map. Has suffered from malnutrition. Um, is from a poor family. Okay, so we got that right. Okay, police say he just abandoned me. Malnutrition, Tom. Just abandoned me, but that's a lie. I, I don't know what I'm... <laughs> Let's hit him with the malnutrition. Oh, that was the wrong answer. I was digressing. All right. And when was the last time you saw him? So I'm already not 100 percent in this. He left for a new job, but this time he was actually Why is he swaying? Angry. Angry. Strange. Yeah, let's let's do that. Strange. In what way? He said to me, "Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here." All right. So there's a mistress involved. It was uh, Colonel Mustard in the lounge with a uh, wrench. Three weeks. That's a long time. Well, oh. every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. Tom is eight? Maybe that was right. I'm thinking. You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. Well, I ain't got no family. And I've got no huh. other place to go. Land, Where's his mother? Or is his mom dead? I didn't really listen that too well. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We uh -oh. shall be discreet. If only my mother was still okay, yeah, she's dead. Let us go. Very well. Not let's go, just let us go. Let us. Now I'm hungry. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. So he's basically just saying there, his medicine is, he's he has boredom. All right. Sorry, I had to fix my forehead. Hurst. Oh, okay, so that's, okay, so this is where we see where we need to go. Baker Street. Is this a fast travel? Uh, in case that's a fast travel, I'm just going to get my bearings a little bit, okay? No. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. All right. Is this Watson? We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. Where is that? Wait. <laughs> that telescope is pointing right in that window. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's... Sus? Is this like an old-fashioned punching bag? Maybe. Why are there so many curtains in the middle of the room? Man, the movement in this is odd, to say the least. My archive. I can always consult That's a lot of archives. Oh, my. Why do you need a rifle up there? Ooh, we found something. Oh, we can, uh, oh, yes. Everyone, please rise and put your hands together as we, uh, say a prayer with our pastor, Sherlock Holmes. I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Look at this man. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Can I jump? That probably shouldn't be my thir first thought in this game. All right, I don't think we've got anything else. But at least we know where to change the wardrobe. I wonder if we can get more cosmetic stuff during the game. My archive. I can always How much... Why does he have so many archives? Oh, is this a map? A map of London and its surroundings. Interesting. Could be useful. Okay, what's this door? There's so much stuff to look at. Typewriter. Watson documents our adventures in here. Watson documents our adventures in here. All right, and that's basically it. So him and Watson live together. That's interesting. Wait, dog. Oh, I can run. Brave Toby, 
best nose in the British. Yes, sir. Okay, now I know how to run. Where's that ladder go? Okay, let's see what the street has to offer. Because I'm assuming it's not going to let us walk into some strangers' rooms. No? Okay. Wow, that's a lot of noise. Okay, so let's let's see if this fast travels us. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, it's a whole cutscene and everything. We can open the case book. Oh, so maybe I saw something earlier saying about um something like opening the case book in the cab. So I guess this is the cab. Look at this man. He looks like he's about to go preach. I wonder if I just kept switching back and forth, if like the game would just load forever and I would just, I would never get to a destination. The loading times in these games are awful. All right, I'll see you guys when I get there. And as I said that, like, Within about three seconds, the prompt came up to leave. Interesting. So is this the cab? I'm assuming. I'm not going to try it. I don't want to get stuck back in. Okay. So I can sprint. North Street. That's definitely not how you fix... Okay. Where do we need to go? Lives Chapel, 12th Dorset Street on the first floor, room E. Where is E? Ooh, pub. Let's go to the pub. All right, let's get drunk. E. All right, sorry about that. I had to turn off notifications. So is this just... All right. Well, Dorset Street. That's. Oh, okay. So that so Dorset so White, whatever is uh, just the name of the town, or suburb maybe. I don't open the door to strangers. Come on, we could have a fun time. Okay, so that's fourteen. I just want to hear all the audio prompts at this point. Nope, nothing. Okay, cool. Can I kick the table? Oh, you can go first person. Oh, that's so much better. I can't turn motion blur off, unfortunately. Okay, so luckily they put a sign right here as well. Oh, it's just open. Okay. So he was, he's at E. It's A, that's the other street, so upstairs. Let's find his flat. There we go. Oh, but it still kicks us out. Yeah, you know, if... Wait. Wait. It is our home, Mr. Hose. That doesn't add up, because how does... Oh, I missed something. First house. Okay, how does the door make, like, a latch sound when there's no latch on it? And also, how did, when we knocked, how did we not just push the door open? Because there's no latches on these doors. There's not even a key, there's a key slot, but there's no keyhole. Right bumper. Concentrate on finding details. Oh, interesting. Old clothes. Piece of paper. Old October pub. Located in North Street. Um, I'm sure this is important for something. The old Tabard Pub, North Street. All right, cool. So did we just pickpocket that, or did he somehow have X-ray vision? George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. 
I feel like I need all this information, unfortunately. Alright. Let's, uh... I want to concentrate on you. So this kid's just living in his house by himself. How does he pay rent? Valico, is this cleaners? Oh, no, this is, uh, rent. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Interesting. Why would he pay, pay them ahead of time? My mother, sir. She died when oh, okay, yeah, so there's the confirmation. His mother is dead. Oh, and we just cut the dialogue. Fire. There's like nothing in here. How are we supposed to find out any information? Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst disappeared. Three weeks since his disappearance. If that's the same bread and it's just been sitting like that, same with that lettuce or cabbage. Yeah, no kidding, there's bugs all over the place. And he broke a plate. A collection of worn out and second hand books. Bro, old books look so cool. Like look at that. A collection of worn out and second Okay. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Interesting. Why would he need so many books? The Strand Magazine. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night. Fair. Why did it just kick us out? Huh. So that's why you came. Okay, so why did it make us do all this just to end up telling us like, oh yeah, only look at the important ones? Please, sir, find my father. I mean, bro, there's no information. We already did that. Oh. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup. Peasant soup? Somebody with apparently no culinary skills. It, that looks like a mop head. Bro, there's nothing here. Alright, see ya, kid. Bye. So, that's, that's it? The old Tabard pub, North okay, so, let's just go, let's just go back to there. Because at this point, what? That's... Oh, wait, there's an upstairs. I didn't even see this ladder. Oh jeez. It's too dark. No, go back up. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Okay, well then let me grab the lantern. There we go. Okay. We're making progress now. Be used to find an investigation. Find a clue. All right, so the animations are so slow in this game. Hey, there we go. Okay, I'm. How am I doing this on a ladder? Interesting. Hello there, George. I know this. I know that it's difficult for you to find a job, and you need to feed and clothe your son. So I've attached to this letter a pub leaflet. I, leaf. Yeah, leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. A special job. He's a prostitute now. All right, we're going down. So, by the looks of it, we have to go down to the pub. All 
All right, it is pub time. I don't feel thirsty right now. Bruh. Okay, what if we switch to the backside? Glue. Probably taken from a wall. Oh, was that it? Was that was that what we had to do? And then find out more about special ups. So the only difference is that we didn't check that there was glue on the back. That is annoying. All right, so now we can go to the pub. Either way, whether there's glue or not, I feel like it's pretty obvious that like the pub has something to do with it. And now there's a cutscene. Day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it I am tall. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me. Yes. I might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. Again, his ears are like bloody red. Alright. Pub time. Let's get drunk. To Earwig to find out who is offering this special job. There's no one to eavesdrop on for me. There's no one to eavesdrop okay. on. Okay. So I'm assuming. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs. Alright, can we just lean? Oh, wow. Oh, this is intense. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop wings. Oh, the odds that we got it on the... F Wait. Okay. It's probably not this guy. It's so bouncy. The equality for the working class. Yeah. Okay. So, my, all right. So we need the the guy with the chops. There we go. This guy maybe. It's obviously that dude. Nothing suspicious about this. All right. Come on. Come on. Who is just talking about this? So, the man I'm looking for has whiskey. It's that man. It's that man, he has water. I that's that was my first try. All right, beard whiskers. And then water. That this game. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Okay, we just keep watch. All right, so Sherlock Holmes, uh, the stalker. Hold to skip time. Oh my, bro! How does this man not see that we've walked in and just sat here and not ordered anything? Same with the bartender. We sat there for thirty minutes. Like, what is this? What was the point of that? And somehow nobody sees us being this creep. We unfolded that paper perfectly. There's not a single crease. Sherlock Holmes is a wizard. All right, missing uh, Mr. Strobridge. At the start of October, Mr. John Strobridge uh, went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Miss Strobridge at 5 Dorset Street. Thank you in advance for any information or help. All right, well, I guess we know where we're going. All right, so we added the pub. So let's go to number five. That's four.
Oh, are we going to send him to follow? This isn't sus. He's already gone. <laughs> like, you lost him, kid. Oh, now I'm the kid. Oh, this is cool, actually. But where did he go? <laughs> Alright, I don't know why there's this bar at the top. Oh. So we can't be spotted. Whoop. Oh, okay, so that meter is, uh... Okay, so... He doesn't... Somehow he doesn't see us still. Bro, if you think you're being followed, why do you just, like... Why do you just stop in the middle of the road like that? So he sees that, but somehow... Not just the kids sitting there. Pumpkin, cabbage, cheap. Right. He's gonna stop right there, probably. Yep, there it is. Okay, so when he hits the exclamation point, I wonder how long this little like mini game is gonna go on for. All right, sprint time. Let's make some ground. Oh, that's it. All right. They won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. Wh why won't they let you pass? Rich folk feed meat to their dogs. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's a timer. This isn't sus. All right. <laughs> Why is he red? Oh, jeez, that's scary. Peekaboo. <laughs> uh, stupid kid. Who are you calling stupid? Stupid. <laughs> Stop crying and get to work. Wait, no! I saw someone. There's like a thing to do in the uh, that room. Ah, uh, boys from the Bruises gang. Better keep out of their way. Oh, okay, so we have to go through there anyways. Take a brush and get in there. <laughs> I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney. You're gonna climb up the chimney. What are you waiting for? Alright, let's do it. Please, you don't have to beat him. Go on then. Oh, uh, whoops. I probably should have helped that kid. I'm sure that would have helped. Is this... Oh, what? Oh my. This is intense. I'm gonna get burned alive. How do I not have oxygen, though? The fire wasn't on. I wouldn't have been able to... Come on. To climb, if that was the case. Because I'd be on fire right now. Why is there more smoke? Apparently you can skip this, so that's interesting. <coughs> Who just brings like a chimney brush with them? Oh geez, we're about to like, die. <coughs> Come on. This man is gonna have such bad lungs. He's still here, that's a relief. Oh now I'm just okay, this is not creepy. Can I fall? I, I almost want to try, but I don't. Okay, yeah, so we have to go over there. Oh, no, it doesn't let us. Another minigame. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. This is difficult. Because they're moving so different way. 
Luckily, the man doesn't see this kid. Because I know if I was walking down the street and saw this above me, I would be uh, freaked out. Alright. Hey, there he is. Okay, so we have to run over there. Let's just let him... Oh, jeez. Okay. Sprint time. Alright, there he is. What? Where do we have to go? I can't go up. Oh my. This isn't sus. Yeah, no kidding. I feel like there was a better way to do that. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Good song. Luckily, this man has no peripheral vision. No place to hide here. We better go through the yard. All right. Well, I guess that's pretty straightforward. Oi, what are you doing in my garden? Um, I'm just uh running through. Don't mind me. This is a Jesus kid is sketchy climbing. All right, can we crawl out here maybe? Why is he red though? That's what's concerning me. I don't want to be spotted. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. You just gotta tease it. Just gotta tease it. Just the tip. All right, we'll go up here. I'm assuming he's gonna turn around if there's cover. But somehow he doesn't see the hat that's very obviously poking out from the side. Nobody notices that this kid is just stalking this kid, dude. Alright, Union Street. Shoeshine Jim. Can you lend me your kit? I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently just everyone knows Sherlock Holmes. Oh, we're gonna have to do this. This guy doesn't even say a word though. Interesting. Um, I'll try pop this. All right. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. This could be useful with a small. Ah. Did you fall asleep? This guy is a dick. All right, and then this. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm still learning. Oh no. Oh, oh, we went up to three bars. Okay, this kid just doesn't say anything. Oh, he is big sus. Oh, oh, we were right there. So does he just not go down from three now? Nope. All right. He's talking with the cabin. I need to get close. All right. Yeah, there's dogs, dude. Damn. I need to find another. Oh my. This kid is just scared of everything. All right, there we go. Oh, he has ugly shoes. Good job, kid. You don't know where he's going. I can't lose him now. Oh. Whoa, this kid's freaking matrix over here. 
What? <laughs> That's it. The kid's gone. <laughs> he just got abducted. Oh, this man, like, this kid just followed this man the entire time. How did nobody see this kid was just, like, hitching a ride? Alright, we'll just keep stalking him. I mean, like, how is this kid going to get back to Sherlock Holmes? This man is just breaking and entering. There are only two people live here. I mean, okay, that's, I guess that is a really big house. But if you have money, you have money, right? So. All right, let's continue our stalking. Oh, he has a lot of guns. Oh, a coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. With what? I wasn't carrying anything. Wow, a lot of expensive stuff. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay, so good to know that when we get everything, it throws us out. I can't see what's inside. Oh, all right, that was great use of time. All right, nothing over there. All right, so I guess we're just gonna break and entering. How's this kid not get? Dangerous to enter. Well, then what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go on this table or something? Climb up there? Maybe we go back. I can't sprint with this guy. Oh, I guess I sort of can. Look at his little legs move. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get any, everything from this window. That makes sense. Got that potatoes. Bags of food. I like this. Oh my, this. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Main gate. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> this kid is gonna get spotted so fast. If this dude has this much money, how's he not like repaired this wall? So that it's very convenient for kids to uh, stalk him. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that part there. I think we made some great progress in this uh, episode of Sherlock Holmes. Um, so, yes, stay tuned for more parts. We'll hopefully solve the mystery of whatever happened to this. I, I forget his name. Wiggums. Let's say Wiggums. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content. Ring the bell so you get notifications for when I record and upload. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys later.